My name is Aaron Colcord. I'm the Senior Director of Engineering for the Digital One Analytics Project at FIS Global. FIS Global is one of the largest fintech providers. They provide financial back-end products for banks, consumer uh, credit unions, and payment processors such as Visa and MasterCard. We have a product that we call the Digital One Analytics. It is primarily about uh, providing analytics or behavioral analytics around uh, digital channels, which usually compose of web and mobile and even the conversational channels. And our product tries to combine and create new insights for the customers. And we try to find insights such as customer attention. We try to look at the conversations, like how conversations create interactions between each other. One of the biggest considerations that we went for with Databricks was the fact that you guys brought a lot of expertise around the product, brought the, brought the managed service where you're able to basically come in and support that infrastructure. It made it extremely dead simple for us just to turn on, execute, so we don't have to worry about infrastructure. We just worry about what we're trying to do and trying to deliver the value around data. So over the last year and a half, we've started using Databricks for creating the uh, uh, data lake, you know, using structured streaming. We started expanding to start using Delta. Delta is our solution of how to bring that cost down while trying to remain compatible so that we can kind of try to work towards moving a legacy infrastructure to a future expandable infrastructure that, you know, that still doesn't require a lot of refactoring. Some of the biggest problems that you that we found when we start talking about machine learning is how do you store model? How do you manage a model? And then even how do you provide the audibility around a model, which is one of the key key components when you talk about the financial industry. So that's actually one of the main reasons why we started using MLflow is actually to simplify that use case. It standardizes how you bring in models, which is actually probably one of the biggest problems that we actually have right now currently is that you can do machine learning models, but everyone's doing them just a little bit different with different, just a little bit different standards. So this allows us to standardize it and then just be able to create a very executable process so we can create delivery. The idea that you can put out a petabyte type system and know that it's performing and know that you can linearly scale it without actually having to hold its hand and then have to revisit and spend your time trying to re-engineer just the execution of the process has been a huge business impact. But then the additional business impact was being able to go in and find those additional use cases, which just don't exist when you just use traditional data processes. Just to begin to unlock your imagination and say, this is possible, I think that's been a huge business impact. The equivalent type of spend for the type of work that we're doing, just a quarter of what we're doing, would span into the million, into millions and millions of dollars. And we're talking about projects that would often be spending millions of dollars that would be unsuccessful even at that spend rate. So that's actually how I'd quantify the value of Databricks because not only are we able to execute for a fraction of that cost, we're actually able to be successful. Mm -hmm.